Hello, my name is Kirby, and I'm going to be showing you how to use the built-in screen recording feature in Snow Leopard and possibly Leopard. And not only how to use that, but how to include sounds being played on the computer within the recording. Um, not just the microphone like what I'm doing now, but like things who, uh, that are playing through your speakers normally um, without having to purchase any additional software. You will have to download and install some free software though, which is just fine. It's called Soundflower. Just Google Soundflower and it's the first thing that comes up. Very first link there. Kind of gives you an explanation about what Soundflower is if you want to read it, but as long as you have 10.5 or 10.6, Snow Leopard or Leopard, you can just click this free download button here. And on the left, is your little download over there, Soundflower 152. Just click on that, and then click the little download link it gives you here, and bam. It's not a very big download, um, but once it's done, just go ahead and launch it using whatever method you are familiar with. If you're using Safari, I'm using Chrome, but normally Safari will automatically mount that download and open it up for you just like this, and bam. You got your little Soundflower installer. Just go ahead and install it. This is some uh, relatively harmless software. Um, it basically just installs an extension on your computer that gives you an extra input and output for sound to choose from on the computer. It allows you to route it into different places. So you basically just continue and continue to install the software, which I have already done. Um, so I'm going to skip this part to save you the installation. But um, after you install it, you don't necessarily have to restart if you're on Leopard or Snow Leopard. What you do is you basically just go into your system preferences, take a look to make sure it installed correctly. If it did, you will have these two sound outputs now available. Um, normally, you'll only need the uh, two-channel sound flower. 16 channels if you're doing something way more complicated, which you probably won't be, but um, if you are, then you don't even need to be watching this video. But um, before you do your screen recording, you would want to select that as an output. Um, keep in mind when that is selected as an output, you're not going to hear anything out of your computer speakers because this is just basically routing it through this little internal intermediary service. So currently my audio is routed through Soundflower, which is great. Now that I have that routed through Soundflower, in order to begin the recording, I would want to go into QuickTime Player. Unfortunately, I am already using QuickTime Player to record this. But what you do is you go to File, you go to New Screen Recording, and I took a screenshot. After you go into New Screen Recording, it brings up your little screen recording thing here. And this little triangle here, you select that and select your input, which is the Soundflower 2 channel, which we have as the output here. So it goes out there, comes in here. Set your quality, high preferably if you're going to be sharing anything online. And um, this right here, the volume control, do not worry about that. Keep that low. If you turn that up, you're going to get echoing and feedback in your recording. So don't. Just keep that down to the bottom. And then... Um, once you get those set, hit record. Go ahead and start recording what you want to record. Um, and Notice you can also only select one of these at a time. Right now, as I'm recording, I currently have the built-in microphone selected. So you can only hear what's coming in through my microphone, but not what I'm playing on the computer. So to demonstrate that this works, though, I did make a little movie right here which instead of playing right now, I'm just going to go ahead and edit it and tack it onto the back of the movie that I'm making now. So here it is.